my somewhat elaborate fogging cauldron using a fog chiller based on the Vortex product design was my idea to use a Coleman Igloo ice cube cooler. Now that's just for the 48 quart size and shape. It doesn't need to be insulated at all. The actual Vortex product that this do-it-yourself modified version is based on is thin plastic. I've made one since then out of a 5 gallon bucket for a more compact size. But you do get a better fuller effect using this size and this design. So even though it seems elaborate, it's a worthwhile effect. The idea of flash frozen fog is that it lowers the temperature enough to make it heavier and denser and linger. So here's what I had to say about it in the actual video. After this I show my 5 gallon bucket fog chiller cauldron experiment and low lying graveyard fog techniques. And the wind takes it but at least it billows and lingers more than if it wasn't chilled. If you just hooked a fog machine up to it, you wouldn't get the boiling cauldron effect, or fogging cauldron effect. This is the fog chiller, the 48 quart igloo ice cube cooler. It's filled with refrigerator ice cubes because they don't stick together as much as what you get from the store and this it sets on a hardware mesh and PVC uh, frame the mesh is zip tied to the PVC um, a tray there you can see the hardware mesh tray and the zip tie to pull it out if it has to be pulled out and this ice tray is two-thirds from the bottom there's a piece of PVC two inch diameter PVC and I also used what just came off it's a weather stripping so the fog doesn't seep through the cracks in the lid so the fog goes in from the fog machine which is protected by the waste basket three inch gap between the fogger nozzle which is centered to the two inch pvc used a hole saw two and three eighths inch hole saw to drill through the um, cooler Ninety degree elbow, and the fog goes out just like that. It hits this lid. It expands. It's forced down through the ice where it's chilled. The ice is about one to two inches thick. The top of this is about an inch from the closed lid, inch inch and a half. So the ice level is about like that. And it exits. There's no 90 degree angle, it's just a straight PVC, 2 inch PVC at the bottom. And then it goes into aluminum dryer duct. Or it could have the trash bag attached. In either case, it would come out chilled instead of hot from the fogger. And that's the reason for the fog chiller. And that's the effect, that's how it works. You can see it billows. If it wasn't chilled, it wouldn't billow, it wouldn't linger. And it wouldn't roll over the sides, it just shoots straight up. And in combination with a mini mister inside with the tap water, it gives a pretty decent effect. This is based on a Vortex Fusion design. Somebody on the internet sells them. They're made out of plastic pails and they came up with the idea of shooting fog to that 90 degree angle to the top or from the top and that seems to give the fog a chance to expand and go through the separate chamber of ice so then this is the fog chiller again hooked up to aluminum dryer duct about six feet three inches the other 400 watt mini jemmy 
from Walmart, about 16 bucks, is inside of another plastic trash or waste basket from Lowe's and Kmart Creepy Cloth to disguise it. And the Kmart Creepy Cloth is also disguising the 48 quart igloo cooler, which is spray painted black with Krylon Fusion spray paint, flat black or camo ultra flat is what we used on the fence and it, it adheres pretty well for the most part to plastic without sanding or primering so this is the mini Jemmy mini fog machine it's just a little smaller than the other 400 watt fogger that was from 2005 this is 2006 model and it also has the same remote control timer which has a magnet on the back and it operates the same way I propped it up in order to line it up with this pipe which is normally the intended inlet or outlet rather but I had better success using it as the inlet but that meant I needed to prop up the fog machine to get it the nozzle centered so I used the mini mister box and the trash can so on top of that, the fog machine is inside a trash can, creepy cloths on top of all that. Inside are the string lights, the orange string lights from Target, had the best orange color. Inside that is a cauldron that's a little taller than it is round, filled with tap water and a mini mister from eBay. 20 bucks off eBay shipped and otherwise 30 bucks at the Halloween stores. And what that does is it just keeps the effect going. And I used a coat hanger and bent it because it doesn't float in water. And that supports the mini mister, which has a sensor on it if the water level gets too low. But it worked all night for a couple hours. So when the fog machine's not on, that picks up the slack and continues the effect pretty good. And I had a Hollow Weekends cup of tap water just in case. I needed to add it to the mini mister because if it's below the sensor level, it shuts off. And I like the red LED light. The ones they sell in stores have different colored lights. I don't care for that. This is a skeleton which it's also a 36 inch posable skeleton. That one was from orientaltrading.com. The pirate one I got at the 50% off sale after Halloween last year at Spirit Halloween stores. Um, a mini strobe in front of it just to light it up. Three skulls on top of a hay bale about three feet by 18 inches by 15 inches from Myers. String lights are duct taped to this plastic cauldron, 16 inch plastic cauldron. The skeleton has a little kid's witch costume from Target, flame witch costume, and a dreadlock wig, and a broom from Kmart. And we have it plugged in. We used all the outlets we could. This plug has fog machine plug, the mini mister brick plug, and the string light plug. And that worked out just fine. Here's another version of a fog chiller cauldron. This was done as a test and it turned out okay. It uses the mini mister, but instead of a 48 quart igloo, it uses a 5 gallon bucket. For this test, instead of making something like a vortex chiller with an expansion chamber and ice tray, as you can see in my other fog chiller videos, I decided to dump a couple pounds of ice in the bucket 
to move it away from the inlet a little bit. It's just enough to flash freeze the fog. The ice will eventually melt in the bucket. The fog machine should be one inch away from the inlet anyhow to create air convection. This produces more fog as opposed to being flush against the inlet. So the water's not going to drip into it anyhow. It's a Chevet DJ Hurricane 901 model, 670 watt fog machine, a little bit more powerful than the 400 watt Jemmy and the other fogging witch cauldron video. It was pretty windy this day, so the wind goes into the cauldron and lifts the fog in the mini mister. I didn't use PVC for this test. I already had 3 inch diameter by 8 foot long semi rigid aluminum dryer duct from something else. It got small holes in it from when I bent it, so that's why there's masking tape. The blue bag is because the 3 inch diameter aluminum dryer duct did not fit into the hole that was cut into the cauldron. This seems a bit elaborate, but it was a test that I wanted to try. Having made numerous fog chillers, you could put ice inside the cauldron as well. This is just the mini mister without the fog. You can see that works pretty good too. This is my mini mister idea that I've used in the past. I had half of a brick to prop it up and about a gallon of tap water inside a small plastic cauldron. I found that shape and size is the best to use. They're both from Halloween stores. You have to keep the water level above the mini mister so you're going to have to continually fill it up every 10 minutes or so. The inside of the large cauldron will get water in it from the mini mister. It's a bit like a fountain. I have to get the large cauldron to stand straighter and more level on that custom skull base I made. It helps to have a timer remote like I have for the Chevet. Here's the other half of the brick inside the larger cauldron in order to prop up the smaller cauldron just a bit, otherwise it is a little too low. I have to tape the red LED lights around the inside of the cauldron. The wind outdoors swirls around inside the cauldrons and lifts the fog in the mist. Another test I'll do when I have time, if I don't use the mini mister in the cauldron, is to put a hole in the bottom of the cauldron, and I have an extra one to use, and put it on top of the bucket. That might prop it up a bit much, but I put creepy cloth around the bucket. I hope this gives you some good ideas. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Check out all of my channels and subscribe. Click send me updates for more interesting videos.